Welcome to the Affiliate Payout Machine. We're now at module number two, which is choosing the most profitable product to promote. In this module, you will learn how to choose the best affiliate program, one that rewards well. For that, you will also learn the formula to determine an affiliate program's profitability. It will be just a simple calculation that you can do yourself. Lastly, I will share with you the list of popular marketplaces where you can promote and sell products. Here are some facts you should know about affiliate marketing. You don't have to worry about lack of products to promote as a new product is launched every day. This means that the number of products to choose from will never run out. However, not all of them will sell. If you pick a product that doesn't bring profit, then it would be a waste of time, energy, and money if advertising is involved. This is why it's imperative that you choose the best product. This is where affiliates come in. Affiliates help with the sales of small businesses. They promote and put certain products on the map. And if you're skilled and efficient enough, you'll play a bigger role than the product vendor in generating sales. They would depend on you to bring in the buyers. However, some products sell and some don't. That has always been how business works. If you choose the wrong product, you will not earn as much as you would expect. So how do you avoid making this mistake? By having a set of criteria, of course. A criteria that a product must meet before you can sell it. Firstly, you need to choose the product with the most rewarding commission. Do not go for anything less than 50%. They're not worth your time. Digital products sell better than physical products. Physical products do sell, but far less than digital products. Also, physical products seldom have 50% commission. Your earning will be less for the same amount of work a digital product affiliate would do. Also, make sure the earnings per click, or EPC, is at one US dollar. I will explain to you more about EPC later on in this module. The concept of upsell, to put it simply, is like an extra offer. For example, when you go to McDonald's and you order a small set, the cashier will ask you, would you like the medium size instead? This allows McDonald's to increase their revenue. If the vendor provides an upsell, it's good for you as well, because you'll be able to gain more commission. A bonus criterion would be a commission that has a recurring element. It means that the vendor will commission you monthly. For example, if it's a membership website and a monthly fee is required, you'll be paid monthly as well. Another bonus criterion is instant payment. When I first started, there was no instant payment. Affiliates had to wait for around 30 days before getting paid. This is because customers might ask for a refund, which is why the pay had to be halted. Now, however, sites like JVZoo provide a system called tentative payment, where you will get instant payment. However, if a customer asks for a refund, they will retract your commission instantly. Also, you need to ensure the quality of the product you're going to sell. If it's a low-quality product and you choose to sell it, you'll lose the trust of your subscribers, and that will affect your future sales. Lastly, of course, the demand of the product. In-demand products will undoubtedly sell better. If the market demand of the product is low, then it would be a waste of time and energy for you. You will also have to evaluate the credibility of the sales letter provided by the product vendor. If it's not appealing to you, then you shouldn't do it. Also, promotional tools, such as banners and emails, should be provided by the vendor. Having these tools ready beforehand will make it easier for you to do your promotion. In the previous slide, I mentioned EPC. Now, I will elaborate and explain about it, and will introduce the formula to calculate it, too. EPC stands for Earnings Per Click. It's the average earnings of each click that you send to the vendor website. It involves your conversion rate. How do you calculate your EPC? The formula of EPC is sales divided by the number of clicks. Picture this scenario. Let's say you're able to direct 100 clicks to the vendor website through your affiliate link that you provide. And from these 100 clicks, two of them made purchases of a product worth $50. 
So $50 times 2 equals $100. That's your sales, the money you've made. Now, use the formula to find EPC, which is sales divided by the number of clicks. What you make from sales here is $100 divided by the number of clicks, which is here 100 clicks. The answer would be the EPC. In this case, the EPC is $1. Let's go through it with another example. If you direct 300 clicks to the vendor website through your affiliate links, and 8 of them make a purchase of a $100 product, your sales would be $800. With the EPC formula, sales divided by the number of clicks, you'll have sales is $800 and the number of clicks is 300. After dividing, you'll get $2.67. That amount is the EPC. Not so hard, huh? In conclusion, the higher the EPC, the more likely it is to get high commission from the product. However, though it sounds like a great idea to make as much sales as possible, it's not wise to direct traffic randomly. You need to know who is the product's target market and who is in the niche. This is the basic rule of marketing that applies in all business. Remember, all traffic must be targeted traffic. The standard commissions are 100% for products that cost between $7 to $12, 60 to 75% for products that cost $17 to $27, and 50% for products that cost $37 and above. The prices I've mentioned would usually have a high EPC, it means these products are worth promoting. They fit the criteria in which a profitable product is required. If you do find products that offer commission as the mentioned prices and also fit the criteria I listed, go for it and promote the products. Occasionally, promote a high-price product. A high-price product is $100 and above. You will usually get 50% commission for these products, but it's not recommended to do it all the time, and it is tempting. But it doesn't generate sales, and not many are interested in a high-priced product. If you keep pushing for a high-priced product, your subscribers might get tired of you. Here's a list of popular marketplaces for you to find products. Clickbank.com, JVZoo.com, and WarriorPlus.com. Bear in mind, there are various marketplaces on the internet, such as eBay, Amazon, and many more but I will only show you the most popular marketplaces for digital products. As mentioned, digital products promise higher sales than physical products.